Hi there food friends, it's Tiny Small Fry here again. I've got a day off work today and I'm supposed to be painting the bedroom, but I absolutely shattered. I had a long weekend last weekend, been driving back and forth up the coast uh, for work all week. So I thought I'd kick back my heels today and make some soft cheese. So why am I bothering going to all the effort of making my own soft cheese when I could pop down to uh, one of the local stores and buy it for probably a couple of quid, if that, um, and with less effort. Well, you see, the thing is, quite often we end up with milk left over in the house, and uh, quite often we end up with lemons left over uh, through various different uh, reasons. Well, rather than waste either, quite often they end up in the bin or down the drain or whatever. Um, so I thought, well, let's make some cheese. So uh, let's give it a go. So for my recent birthday, my wife bought me this uh, very good book called Practical Self-Sufficiency, The Complete Guide to Sustainable Living by Dick and James Strawbridge. Very good book. And it's got a recipe in here. Shows you how to make cheese from just two ingredients, milk, and lemons well, actually milk lemon salt pepper and herbs and garlic so I thought I'd give it a go right, so first thing we need to do is take a piece of muslin cloth or cheese cloth and basically scold it The second thing I need to do is to bring a pan of milk, two pints of milk, to the simmer. And while we're doing that, we need to juice a lemon. is not the easiest thing to do when you're holding your iPad trying to film but hey I'm doing it for you so why not there we go one of the other useful things you can do with lemons is you can if you cut them in half or chop them up if they're older lemons that you're going to end up throwing in the bin anyway in a bowl of hot water in your microwave for two or three minutes and then Take a cloth and you can just wipe inside of the microwave. Not only deodorises it, but also lifts all the greasy, horrible gunk off the inside of your microwave. It comes up a real treat. And you can see it's starting to come to a simmer. As soon as it's at a simmer, what we need to do is take it straight off the heat and add the lemon juice. Right, and there we go. See, starting to curdle straight away. Okay, well, you can see it's kind of Oh, 
it's just going to take a little bit of time for me to sort this through. So I'll come back to you in a moment. So there we go. That's all of the way, all the curds rather, out of the way. And now I just need to tie the bag up and leave it to strain it over a bowl overnight and cool down and then tomorrow I need to flavour it with salt, pepper and all the other good stuff so see you in 24 hours I guess right so here we are 24 hours later and in there somewhere so there we are the finished product so oop, quite crumbly hmm it's all right there's not much cheesy taste to it do with a bit of salt and pepper and some flavourings but not bad at all yum yum right so there's the finished product on my lunch which is a small slice of ham on some uh, Mediterranean and jalapeno bread with some of my cheese and topped off with a, a few slices of tomato Let's see what it tastes like as part of a meal. Right, well I wouldn't say it's as um, polished as a uh, shop bought cheese. It's quite rustic. But part of a sandwich it's not bad. Um, my other half just tried some, she didn't like it. Um, but uh, I shall give it to the kids when they get home because they're cheese fanatics and see if they enjoy it so why not give it a try it's simple to do and uh, okay it's not greatly um, you know not as good as uh, possibly a shop bought cheese but it's it's not bad for a first attempt <laughs>